welcome to Morning Scramble right here in Northern Arizona. Nice to have you as our audience today. You're going to be glad you're here. We have an incredible guest with us, a friend of mine, Stephen Nasser, Holocaust survivor. Nice to have you on again, Stephen. Well, thank you. It's my privilege to be here because the alternatives wouldn't have been too good. No, you have a shirt on that says never again. Yes, we have received this shirt many years ago at school, Face High School in Las Vegas. Surprised us, we were invited, we had about 400 students and the first row honor students all were these shirts. So I looked at it, oh my God, where did you get these shirts from? So then the principal came out and he said, well, actually it's in your honor. We have created these shirts and we decided every time you visit the Everybody wears going it. To get these. And of course, never again means never another Holocaust. That's right. And it has a backside to the shirt, which I tried to show you. It said 11 million. 11 million, okay. That's how many innocent civilians yes. have been murdered. And I call them the bullies, the Nazi bullies, because they were nothing but bullies. All you bullies, you better listen up. You better don't end up like the Nancy's. Well, and you, Stephen, for the past eight or more years have been going around different uh, states and talking to school children about the Holocaust, about your Holocaust experiences. That is correct. And your message is? My message is family value. You have to respect your family. When you go home, appreciate you have people alive. And the only way they can stay alive, and we have freedom, and the only way we maintain freedom by over 430,000 American soldiers who gave their life in World War II, plus the Allies, and we have to appreciate it. I wish instead of Memorial Day, they have one day. In my opinion, Memorial Day should be 365 days every, every certainly, year. Certainly. The well, we'll definitely try, that's for sure. Well, you had some horrific experiences during World War II. At age 13, about your life changed dramatically, Stephen. What happened to you? You're Hungarian, by Yes, the way. I'm Hungarian. At age 13, our life changed tremendously because uh, we had a wonderful life in Budapest up till age 12. And even though we did not know the Holocaust was existing all over Europe, it hit us in March 1943 when the Nazis walked in and our life turned upside down. And eventually, to put it short, from the Nasser house where we used to live, they were 21 of us taken away to concentration camp. And I'm the only one who survived. Everybody else got killed. Two of them got massacred who I have watched. And you were there at, again, age 13 you, in Auschwitz, wasn't it, when you yes, saw this? Yes, Auschwitz-Birkenau. Birkenau was actually the new Auschwitz because Auschwitz filled up very quickly. Mm -hmm. It was a death factory. They killed gas people 24 hours a day, morning to night. And you were initially in 